Hey, we're getting a uh, chance to talk story with the Nahoku Hano Hano Award winner. She's a record producer. She's a philanthropist. She is a hardworking mom and helps not only women to succeed, but uh, local groups to succeed. We're talking to the one and only from Haku Collective, Kimie Minor. <laughs> Aloha. Thank you, Billy, for that beautiful intro. <laughs> hey, congratulations to you, because the other thing is, is that you're actually celebrating a anniversary melee in Hawaii. Congratulations. Yes. I mean, it's crazy that we've been now doing this show for one year. It's been one year since the pandemic hit and we started this show. It's uh, crazy. Tell, tell everybody how you came up with the concept. Well, it really was because I got all the emails saying, hey, all your shows are canceled till September. We're in lockdown. We can't go anywhere. And as an artist and a musician and a mom, first I thought, how am I going to feed my kids? Then I thought, how am I going to sing these songs? Like, I have so much on my mind that I want to share as an artist. Um, but I knew I wasn't alone. I was like, I know I have my other friends out there feeling the same way. I had friends in New York, DeAndre. So I literally found a platform that wasn't even really working well yet. And we kind of bounced around. And I just brought all of us together from our living rooms and we jammed and played music from our heart and commiserated about being stuck at home. And a lot of our fans enjoyed it and it's just been going ever since then. You know, it's been a year since the pandemic began, and which this all began for us. And even you uh, allowing me to be a part of one of the first shows uh, for yes. Mele in Hawaii. Um, what has this pandemic time, like, time been like for you? <sighs> Well, you know, I mean, as artists, we I've been feeling very inspired and writing and just playing music and stuff. But just as like a human and a mom, I've been feeling I felt the all the feelings. I felt fear. I was wondering how am I going to survive? Because most of my income came from live performances, you know, and so many of my friends, Kalani Pea and many, many other artists on here, here in Hawaii, everything was canceled, the whole tour. So it was kind of like readjusting to life, staying home, um, figuring out how to rig my own studio system here at, at my house. Um, and just, it's just been crazy, but we've all learned how to pivot, how to grow, how to make the most of these crazy lemons. Now, you say so many of your friends and artists, you know, you've helped over 50 plus artists uh, continue to do what they do on this platform. It actually started out as melee in the holly, right? Because of the pandemic. Absolutely. And I really was saying, hey, guys, you want to like go find like a quiet corner of your house and like let's live stream. And so we started it out as melee in the holly as COVID changed and different tiers opened up where we were able to go outside that's when i turned it into mele in hawaii because i didn't want to feel like we could only perform from home you know so it was it was just to broaden the reach um to provide a, a bigger stage and now a year later we've supported over 50 entertainers and musicians um to bring income into their homes and also to share the loving their, their music you know and the love that we all have as artists to to sing and to connect with our fans and that's been really a blessing actually uh, i want to give uh my viewers uh on billy v live that's on uh fridays uh that we live stream it on facebook and youtube just like you live stream on facebook and youtube um just for uh, my viewers, know that you are getting a, a, a very different look because this is not usually what you see in Mele in Hawaii. Right, Kimye? Well, yes. Yeah, so um, <laughs> I put her on just, the spot. Basically. I mean, everybody, get, everybody gets to have an inside, never before seen look at, at your favorite artist. I mean, John Legend's like singing by his bathroom. And so this is my studio. This is actually like where you're not seeing right now is where I record and I have, here's my mic. So, you know, everything is um, kind of in reverse, but this is like where my family sits behind me and watches me as I'm recording new music and, and working and, you know, just trying to figure things out. It's insane to think that I started out as a little girl with a ukulele, writing and playing music from my heart. And this year we're celebrating five years as Haku Collective. We just won Island Innovator of the Year from the Hawaii Venture Capital Association. We're celebrating one year of Mele in Hawaii to support over 50 artists of, in Hawaii. It's just crazy. It's it's amazing how something so um, difficult and challenging can actually bring out the best in people. 
So know that when you're watching Meli in Hawaii, usually where Kimiei Miner is sitting is, is usually on the other side of the camera. And where you're looking at right now in that view is where her family gets to watch the show. So you're getting to see a, a little intimate part behind the scenes that nobody really gets to watch. You've got another show coming up. Who is coming up on your show, Kimiei? Oh, I'm so very excited because it's also, they're all Grammy nominated or Grammy winning artists. So we have Navai Eha, who was just up for a Grammy this past year on the virtual Grammys. And we have Nahoa, who was nominated and two time Grammy winner, Kalani Pea, who started this whole series with me one year ago, full circle now. And we're just honoring and celebrating the many voices here in Hawaii. Well, I got a treat for you. One of those artists that you just mentioned is actually here. I'm going to bring him on. Uh, say hello to um, to Kalani Kini uh, uh, Juan from Maui. Yay! By the Hi, way, Ed. I got to I got to unmute your microphone there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Aloha. <laughs> hey, brother, I, I do want to say it was not the the what we were hoping for. Um, we were hoping that you would be the Grammy winner, but you have forevermore that title of Grammy nominee. And not too many people have that. So we want to say congratulations. What do you got planned for Kimmy A's show coming up? Thank you so much. Um, it is a privilege and a blessing to have been um, representing Hawaii at the Grammys this year, although it's virtual. Um, for this Hawk Collective coming up, uh, we'll be performing three of our favorite mele. Um, one of the mele will be one of the mele that actually started Novoyeha. Um, Navai Kaulana that speaks of the four waters of Navai Eha and um, really has a lot of meaning to us and our beginnings as Navai Eha and we also will be sharing another song um, that we wrote individually, uh, we collectively actually wrote it together uh, called Eoe Navai Eha um, and we will also be sharing our first and title track for our second album entitled lovely sunrise for you guys so and we hope you guys enjoy wow so a lot of stuff that you got coming up on kimia's show um what is one of the great things that you enjoy about working with kimia minor uh she's amazing you know um we're super thankful to even be a part of this whole thing you know um, it gives us a chance to of course make income but also also to uh build relationships and, and share music with the world and like with her people you know our people and and that um mixing of just goodness you know i <laughs> i can't really uh, explain it. i love it thank you so much kimmy now you know kalani kini uh, do me a favor uh when you get a chance please express to your brothers uh give them our aloha and we look forward to seeing you guys coming up on kimmy a's show okay yes definitely well, once again, from the island of Maui, a nice round of applause for uh, Kalani Kini Juan being with us here Aloha. on the show from the group, Grammy-nominated group, Navai Eha. Kimie, uh, real quickly here, what do you want people to know about Haku Collective? Because that's kind of like the catalyst of, of everything that you do is, is kind of under that umbrella, right? Yeah. I guess I just want them to know that we're our, our company and organization by artists for artists. It was started because I saw gaps. I saw holes in our industry and I had many challenges that I had to overcome. And if I can save anyone else those troubles, that's that's what we aim to do. I believe that when you open a door, you should leave it open for the next person behind you and for me that's the artist in Hawaii I am fans first so anyone that we work with we truly are their fan first and then we um, work with them and ask how we can help to amplify and elevate them we also have our, our artist to watch series which is a part of our Mele in Hawaii now and so at the start at the start of every single episode we start with an up-and-comer so i'm really excited because this show coming up on saturday we're featuring my 11 year old nephew who is on our brand new album children of the sea and he's singing on a few of the songs so he's going to be performing it's his debut performance he's never performed live before in front of people so uh, i'm going to be cheering him on <laughs> All right. Make sure that you're watching. That's going to be Millie in Hawaii. That's going to be at 4 p.m. Hawaiian Standard Time. That's coming up this coming Saturday. And uh, make sure that you are watching on Facebook and on YouTube. That's Navai Eha, Nahua, Kalani Pea. And that's going to be an awesome show. Mwah. Mahalo.